everyone, welcome to Hunters Connect. Today, we're gonna to show you how to package your wild game meat using butcher paper, plastic wrap, and some masking tape. We've got a bunch of burger ground up, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just tear off a length of plastic wrap. It's okay to start a little bit longer. You'll start to kinda of get an idea of how much you really need. We're gonna tear a length and lay that out flat. We're gonna use a scooper. I like to use a scooper because it keeps your or a spoon just because it keeps your hands clean and it allows you to measure how much meat you're putting into the plastic wrap and then wrapping and can allow you to be more consistent across all of the packages you're going to be doing. Uh, I typically like to do four scoops of burger per package. I kind of estimate around a quarter pound per scoop which will be about a burger patty per scoop and that's perfect if you're making dinner. Um, for a few folks, it just allows you to plan ahead and know how much is in each package. So there we go, we got four scoops there. And I would just try and keep it off center a little bit because what we're going to do first is on the bigger side, whatever side that is, we're going to fold that over the top touch it down to the plastic, and then we're going to push down on that burger to try and get as much air out of there. Air is your enemy. It's going to be what makes your meat freezer burn uh, the fastest. So try to get as much air out of there as you can. But you'll notice that when you touch that down, you kind of start to create a seam on that side. So what we're going to do next is fold from the top, seal off that side, and now we can fold this around and have plastic wrap on the back edge as well. Then we'll just go from the top. There you go. You got a package of burger. That allows you to get multiple layers of plastic wrap on each side and it'll help better protect that meat all the way around. Instead of having all of your folds on top of each other and a bunch of layers and then the other side is just one layer of plastic, we're gonna rotate that so it's a fold fold, flip, and then two more folds. So now we're gonna set that aside for a second. We're gonna tear off some butcher paper. And I highly recommend getting a roller like this. It just makes the process much easier. You can tear your paper, it just keeps things moving efficiently. Um, there's two sides to the butcher paper. There's a kind of waxy side, and then a side that's just straight paper. You're gonna to wanna to put that meat on the waxy side. So you're going to set that down, you're going to fold it, but not all the way over, and we're just going to almost like karate chop it and create a seal or a seam here, excuse me, create a little seam, and we're going to fold it long ways, do the same thing, make a seam, and you just want to make sure you're getting good pressure each time you're folding. It'll just help keep that meat tight and together better. So now we've got that fold here. We've got our seams. We're just gonna fold it like you would if you were doing gift wrap for Christmas. Make a little point on there. And we'll fold this back. Make it real snug. And you can see we've got a little tab end here that weight will keep that closed. Peel off a little strip of masking tape. Put on that tab, pull it over, and there you go. You've got a package of burger meat. All you gotta do is label it, put it in the freezer, and get ready to enjoy. Thanks for watching Hunters Connect. Bye.